welcome to my channel. So for today, I'm going to be doing my Ipsy and slash box charm unboxing trying on. So I have most of my makeup on because I did look through it to see what I got in everything. And like I said, I always link this stuff down below. Just in case you guys are interested in getting it or signing up for it. And I always say that I do sign up for my own stuff. I do pay for it every year. And I do have a yearly subscription that I get. So, disclaimer, I buy my own stuff. It would be nice if I had them sent to me or if I could collab with them or, you know, work with them. Because I do love Box Charm. I think it's a great description. You do get so many different variety each month. You get four to five full-size products. Plus, Ipsy is combined with Bok Chom, so you could get Ipsy too, you would get Bok Chom, you get both, you know, it's, I think, a very good ideal, and like I said, if I ever get, you know, well, they were saying YouTube world famous, have enough subscribers and all of that, to a point where I start getting PR and be able to work with companies, I would love to work with Bok Chom, and be able to promote for them and everything and give my honest opinion and reviews about their things and what I liked and all that. But till that day happens, I am paying for my own box charm each month. I mean each year. Every time I get my tax money, I do pay for it for your description because that's how much I love it. And I've been a box charm member for years. So what's different is that it does come with an Ipsy box, but like it says, Glam Bad Bok Chan Iconic Box Refreshment. So, it's all in one. So, you can go on their website. Like I said, I always link that website down below. Always tell you everything that I got my Bok Chan. Try it. Use it. One way or another. Give my opinions about it. Lay on the video. All that. So, like I said, most of my makeup on because a lot of it was um, skincare. A couple of makeup items. So, yeah. So I did powder my face because I got two cream products, but the first thing that I did use, which I think this is amazing, I'm glad I have it, and this would definitely work for me during the summer when I get really oily, and I get really hot and everything, and my makeup is not staying on as good as it would during the winter when I'm not as oily, is the Oil Control Moisturizer Matte Fine and Hydrate. So I did use this today on my face, before I film to get my face ready for makeup and everything. So I really love First Aid Beauty. I am using the cleansing balm, uh, cleansing oil, and I think that works great. I notice a lot of First Aid stuff that I get, either I buy or get through subscriptions, really work for me. And I love the fact that it's not only mattifying, but it's hydrating. Like, like I said, this will definitely work during the summer when I get extremely oily and all that. But it comes out like this. It's very good texture. Like, it's very lightweight. And it sinks in the skin, like, good. And you can see it's kind of, like, mattifying in a way. So... I haven't tried this out. I just started. So I am going to be using this between my other um, ones that I love. Like my Tatcha Water Cream one. So I'm going to use it back and forth between this. But I have a feeling, like I said, during the summer, this is going to be my go-to moisturizer. Just to help my skin not only stay on it a little bit longer, but keep my skin from being so oily. But stay hydrated and not completely matte so yeah but i noticed a difference the instant i put this on so i got that on the other thing was the saturday skin web a dub friendly pill gel so this is kind of like a pilling mask that you cleanse your face you put on and you just rub it in for a minute and then you wash it off so it's like fast quick easy this is something they is they can use one twice a week. I will be using this. This I have so much mask type of mask. I'm still trying to get through. So once I start using this, and like I said, use it consistently. I'll give you my opinions later on in a upcoming video, like I do with everything else. So 
But it sounds good. It sounds like it'll be quick and easy. It sounds like they ain't going to take that much time and all that. Um, another thing I was going to put on, but aside to wait, but this is the Sweet Dream Collagen Glow Gold Eye Mask. So now this reminds me of Wonder Beauty. You guys know, years in my videos, when I first started, my favorite eye mask was the Wonder Beauty. I feel like that it does a great job. I feel like it kind of helps my eyes to keep moisturized and everything and all of that. So... Pretty much you do the same thing. It does come in this package, go package, and all that. So I'm definitely going to be trying, but I do have other eye patches that I'm using right now. And I'm still using my Florence by Mills, like, daytime eye patch. So I'm being out of the eye hydrating under treatment gel pad. So this is more like during the day and everything. So I'm still using this. I'm loving it. It's kind of cool. It does feel like it does keep my eyes moisturized. Plus I put eye cream on. So once I get done with that, this will be the next thing I will be trying. And I usually like doing these during the day. I do have another one that I use during the night. So I'm going to put this in my drawer with the other one. That way I know when I get done with that, I have another set to try. But yeah, so far I am like it, I am loving it, and all that. But once I try the other kind, like I said, I'll give my opinions. But I have most of my makeup on, I'll link all of it down below, like I said, including the description box and the links and all that, just in case you guys are interested to either buying it, subscribe for it, getting it, trying it, you know, things like that. And I will be trying this stuff more off camera. And I always, guys, give you my opinions when I'm trying my box charm stuff. Always my first impressions, but I don't give my full opinion until later on. So, but the one thing I want to put on, another thing I got was, like I said, two makeup items. And the one is from, um, Lucky Chicks. So this is a multi-stick, a, a lip and cheek multi-stick in Lucky Days. So, I'm going to try this on my lips, and then I'm going to try this on my cheeks. But first, I have a cream bras I also got. So, this is the color. It looks like, I said, different types of color. And I like the fact that it is a multi-stick, and they can use it on your lips and cheeks. Now, I've tried some stuff like this. But I will like I said, some stuff is better on cheeks and lips, and some stuff better on lips and cheeks. So... Yeah, I'm not really into like the multi-stick type thing. I understand why, but yeah. But it's a rich with goss rose chip sip seed, Jehovah oil, and shea butter. So I figured this might be a nice moisturizing lip. And I love the fact that it's pink. And it's nice like orangey pink. It feels good. I feel like it's going to blend out and all that. So I'm going to try this on my lips. And then... We'll do the bronzer, and then we'll do this on cheeks, and then we'll finish the makeup and all that. So, um, I'm going to put this on my finger and just start it around my um, lips and see how it looks. I really don't want to mix this up, so like I said, I'm just going to use... very drying I feel like it's like my color lips it feels very moisturizing like it literally like the color of my lips as you can see so like if you guys are like going out or going somewhere and you need something for your lips also to touch up that could be a good thing could be a nice thing to put in your purse if you want some like lip color. Now, I don't know how long this will last or anything like that on the lips, but I will try out both on the cheek and lips. And see how it is. It feels very lightweight. Somewhat moisturizing. It doesn't feel like it's drying down. Maybe I should do... See, the things like this is like... I don't know. It 
feels pretty. It feels moisturizing. It feels like a nice little lip balm. Good color. It like the color of my lips. So it literally perfectly for my lips color. So let's go ahead. And like I said, I did get the Shanna B. I had products for her before. I had eye palette. I had um, cheek palettes. I think lip products too. Like I get quite a bit from this brand. It's a cream bronzer in Beach Babe. So like the reason I have it set my face just underneath my eyes. But it's what it look like. It doesn't feel like that's not a bad color. I mean, it's not a bad color for me. It's a little light, but it looks like it could be very buildable. So, usually with these type of products, I like using a brush. And I like using my um, e.l.f. brush because I like the stippling motion. Especially since I have foundation underneath. And I prefer to just do it that way. So, let me go ahead. Awesome time. A sponge. You guys hear thunder? Apparently, we're going to have thunder today. So, don't be shocked you hear thunder. Right now, it's kind of cloudy and light. So, when that. So, I'm going to take a little bit on my brush. And just tap some. Because I really don't want to disturb. I'll zoom you guys in. That way, you guys could um, see everything I'm doing. But let's go ahead and try this out. So I'm going to try it on my forehead. Like I said, this is a very light shade. So I don't know if it's going to... Uh, okay, it is showing up. Get my hair out of the way. But this may be a little too light for me. I'm going to check the cheeks. Yeah, it may be a little too light, so I'm going to probably have to, like, literally build this up. It's probably not going to work for me. I'm going to try the sponge. I'm going to get a little bit on the sponge. And I'm going to pretty much just pat this in. Like I said, it is showing up on me, but it's kind of, like, really, like, extremely light. So, I don't, like I said, I don't know. I'm going to have to definitely build this up to see. Like, I don't know if you guys can actually see it from me. But, like I said, they liked. May not fix. It's like, I could see it, but I have to, like, really just build this up. And I don't know if I like that. I don't know the fact that, you know, it's extremely like to a point where I have to like constantly dip back in and build up once I build up it's pretty but um yeah so I'm gonna keep trying this and now let's try the blush don't like the powder finish and all that because I feel like that my batteries it's about way to die it seems like I'm either I'm glad to get a new camera or something like that because I feel like that every time I put a new battery in like I always charge my older one and then just in case my one that I have in my camera is like going dead. But so like anytime I put the new one in and all of that, it automatically a few minutes later it looked like it's about when you die. So I don't know. Usually again I just use my brush because I don't want it to pick up any products. It doesn't look like that the bronzer picked up anything. So like I said, it's very buildable, but this is more like fair, extremely fair to light people because the color is just a lot, well, it, like I said, it's buildable, but, okay, so let me try the cheek color. Okay, now this is pigmented. This is the instant I could build, automatically will build and look beautiful. Like, as you can see, this is more pigmented than the bronzer was. So, yeah. See, I like this. 
and it doesn't look like it's disturbing, you know, my makeup. So this is beautiful. I do like that. I'm going to take the, um, this and just pat it out. But this is really beautiful. Like I said, this is more pigmented than the bronzer was. But that is beautiful. Okay. I like that color. That is more like a natural type color. Feels great. Feels very moisturizing. Let me go ahead, like I said, use a powder to quickly set this stuff down. But I'm going to go over the bronzer, the Pat McGrath, because I feel like that it needs something to kind of um, bump up the bronzer. So I'm just going to use my powder, the powder brush, and I'm just going to set, and then we're going to use a bronzer. And that way, everything will be nice and set. You can still see the powder. Um, definitely can still see the blush. Over this. So the blush is good. Like, literally, like I said, that's easy to build up, but that easy to use. So I'm just going to use my past McGrath bronzer. Like I said, I just need something to bronze up my face. And this is a good bronzer and all of that. So like I said, I just need that extra bronzy look. But like I said, like the blush is actually still staying. Still looks beautiful. Still see it. So I really do like that. Okay. Yep. I definitely like the blush more than the bronzer. Only because of it being less pigmented. It's very blendable, very smooth, but like I said, it's not really going to work for my skin color like the blush is. I'm going to have to keep trying this, but truthfully, I need a little bit deeper bronzer. Except the fact that I am getting a little bit more tanner and my, you know, stuff like that. But I'm going to use my spray since everything else is on and that was the last of it. But... I think I'm going to keep this lip color. I'm going to keep it on, wet, see how it feels and everything, see how it looks and all that. But I am going to put some topper on it and probably shouldn't, but I don't care. I feel like that. Ooh, I got my hair all so wet. Ooh, forgot how much that spray is. But, yeah, this is my face using some of the Box Charm slash Ipsy products and all of that. So, like I said, I'll link everything down below and all of that. Still full wet. <laughs> I mean, like a little mini blow dryer <laughs> on those handheld ones just to. But like I said, I really do like it. The cheeks I love the most. I feel like that it's just working so well in everything. And like you definitely see the cheek color. The lips still feel moisturizing. I'm probably going to put a little bit more on. But I know this ain't going to stay. I know it's going to wipe off. But like I said, it feels really beautiful. And I'm going to put a little bit of glossy top on this. I'm 
Okay, so extra color, and extra. But yeah, I really do like that. I mean, I love like it all. It looks so good. I really do like my makeup. I love, like I said, the cheek products are good. It just... So, yeah. A little bit more. Like I said, I just... Okay, I may be obsessed with this cheek. But yeah, that's everything that I got from my box chum. I will be trying this stuff out some more. I will link, like I said, everything from Box Charm down below. I will link the website and all of that. Everything on my face I use down below. So check the description box for all that info and all that detail. Just in case you guys are interested in either purchasing, using, trying, describing, things like that. And don't forget to like, comment, and give my video a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell down below. That way you guys know I upload every weekend and be notified for that. But until then... Hope have a lovely day and night, or whoever you guys are. See you later. Bye.